Blizzard's insane spyware app for BlizzCon 2019. Oh, that's great. Before I get into the video, I want to share with you the most heinous part of what I'm going to talk about in this video. So you get the gist up front. Okay. And that I ask you that you share this video and let people know exactly what's going on. This is the data that Blizzard is forcing BlizzCon attendants to share with unknown parties. Are you ready? Here we go. First name, last name, precise location, as determined by GPS, Wi-Fi, and other means. How often the app is used. What content is viewed using the app. Which ads are clicked. What purchases are made and not made. A user's personal advertising identifier. IP address, address, operating system, device, make, and model. Billing address, credit card number, security code, mailing address, phone number, email address, among many others. That's a lot. Access shares all of this information with a laundry list of advertisers, marketers, and unknown, quote, clients and third-party services, including but Holy not limited shit. to Google, DoubleClick Ads, wait Facebook. Wait a second. Basically, wait, just let me pause this. Shares all, wait, it shares all of this information with a laundry list of advertisers, marketers, unknown clients. Unknown clients and third-party services, including but not limited to Google. Wow, Facebook, too. Holy shit, this is actually so bad. This is all Activision? I, I, guys, that's such a... It, it's such a cop-out. I mean, you're letting Blizzard get away with murder. Well, Blizzard isn't doing anything wrong. The real people that are bad are Activision, so we can't get mad at Blizzard. Why can't you just fucking admit that Blizzard doesn't know what the fuck they're doing? Like, why do you stop blaming Activision? Let's don't blame Activision. Every single time Blizzard does something wrong, it's not Activision's fault. Like, it's possible that Blizzard just... They don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's the same company. Well, what they mean to say is the people that are part of Activision before the merger are making the decisions that are making people unhappy. And the Blizzard people are trying to do everything right, and there's actually some kind of battle between good and evil between Bobby Kotick and J. Allen Brack. Well, actually, Mike Morheim, now they have their powers combined, and, uh, you know, they're executing Order 66 on classic WoW players. But listen, it, it, it's just, it's too fucking much, guys. It's too fucking much. Stop letting Blizzard off the hook every single time something bad happens. Like, Whoever like, else the company feels like deserves this personal there. information. Now, hey, wait a minute. Wait. And basically, whoever else deserves this person. Oh. Okay. Here, that, that no, that that's edit. That's that's what the the person said. No, that that's that's what the article. That's what the uh, the writer of the article said. What Blizzard specifically said is, we reserve the right to share your personal information with our current or future affiliated entities, subsidiaries, and parent companies. Now that you know the TLDR, share this video, and let's Definitely. get into yeah, the long yeah, form. It's a little bit too long. Ah, yes. The do you not have phones okay. meme just got a little bit worse as Blizzard is now requiring attendees of 2019's BlizzCon to install what appears to be spyware on their phones great so to get into blizzard really great you will be required to download an app which we're going to look at which has insane levels of nosiness spyware levels of nosiness and they quietly after fan outrage said well you could maybe go to the help desk to get in afterwards what happened to just letting people print their tickets why do i have to install some app that's going to track location we're going to take a look at everything that blizzard is requiring of their uh blizzcon attendees which by i i don't know like i mean maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong on this but couldn't they just have an internal database that just prints it and puts it on the uh the paper and then the people that are admitting everybody into blizzcon just has a scanner and they can just scan it and see if it matches the database or not like i i don't know why i mean they put metal detectors at blizzcon last year which I thought, no, they can't. Oh, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know anything about this, but it seems like something that they could do. Um, but anyway, like last year, they put fucking metal detectors at BlizzCon because one guy went out and he went on a rampage at some sports fucking sports ball game. Like, and, and now they can't figure out something better than this. Give me a break. By the way, the first day of sales already have sold out. They launched 
uh, their sale today for BlizzCon. I don't know why anyone would go unless out of just tradition, which I will respect. But The reason that people go to BlizzCon is to have sex with the eagles they've been talking to throughout the year. It's like, you think that, you think that, uh, uh, Weed Killer, the level 120 hunter, carried, uh, Ashley XO to 2100 for Duelist for her gear for nothing? <laughs> Come on. But nowadays, you know, basically most conventions are dying off because... You can just stream them online and stay at home and get them for free. Uh, or in BlizzCon's, pay is, um, BlizzCon's case, you can pay for it if you really want to. I don't know why anyone would do that. Maybe exclusively games will for, for reporting reasons. But the first wave of BlizzCon tickets have sold out. The second wave will go on sale May 8th at 7 p.m. Pacific. They're always uh, going to keep so selling people out. people were sending me a story about the insane level of... Um, spyware that's on this Axe mobile app that you need to get into the show. You will be required to download a spyware app with full phone permission that is known for selling its data in order to enter BlizzCon this year. Step five, you'll need the Axe uh, that's great. access. Maybe that's what that is. Access is, mobile dude. app to get into the show. There it is. That's Pick good. Pick up your badge yeah, registration this, this year. You'll need to download the access. Yeah, you got to remember like r slash classic wow. Like a lot of the people on that subreddit, they hate everything except for classic wow. Like they, they hate uh, streamers, YouTubers, the money uh, conventions. They, they hate everything. It's insane. Like... If you read like any post about like S Fund that's on that subreddit, everybody is just irrationally hating on S Fund because his video was longer than they thought it should have been, and they assume that the reason that it's longer than they thought it should have been is because S Fund actually just wants to make a bunch of money off of them, and S Fund actually secretly hates Classic Well, and this entire thing is completely for money, right? They're just paranoid retards. Like 90% of them. Well, not 90%, that's way too much. But there is a large contingent of the classic community that is like that. Not 90%, probably not even half. But th there is a percentage that's there. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously you make money through videos, but that's not the only reason you're doing it, right? It's like the chicken or the egg. Mobile app. The app displays a QR code, one for all of your tickets, which changes at regular intervals to help guard against dupes and fraud. Because of that, we won't be able to accept paper tickets, confirmation emails, or screenshots and photos of the QR code at BlizzCon registration. And thanks to the Blizzard subreddit, here's just a little bit of the permissions that uh, this app will require. Um, took a glance at the access app permissions. It's bad, spyware levels of bad. Contacts, read Can your contacts, find your location, prevent them goes yeah, for Wi-Fi connections. Okay, here we go. Like, Tooth beak. Uh, so I never read this control part. vibration, okay. prevent device from sleeping, modify system settings. They go on to say, wow. And, that was the same um, list we looked at. Death Coil uh, posted this. So um, Bluetooth permissions are going to be used to track you as you walk around the event. There will be Bluetooth beacons hidden in places and your phones will detect them and the app will know where in the venue you are uh, located even if your GPS is off. That's the same goes that, for Wi-Fi connections bit much, man. at key locations of that the venue. That is way too fucking much. This is fairly much. common for medium to large venues. It gives the venue information wow. that's popular, how long people stayed in various, etc. But just because it's common doesn't mean this type of tracking is quote okay, especially when yeah. that information is given out to companies that aren't even hosting. Most people have no idea this happens, nor how common it is. That's true. The adjust system settings permissions allows it to do things like turn on your GPS, turn off on your Wi-Fi, turn on your Bluetooth, run at startup, ensures it's in the background services and will be running at all times, which can be used for tracking. Full network access allows the app to send all of the tracking information out to the internet, including a list of every one of your contacts, your location history since the app was installed. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of them removing Master Looter. Nobody was asking for an app for BlizzCon. Nobody was asking for one. I'm serious. And they just added this in. Nobody wanted it. And it's because Blizzard felt... I, I don't even know why the fuck they want this. Like, how, why is that? How is that question mark? 
it, it's Blizzard making another decision that nobody was asking for. Like, I mean, it's not really complicated to, to draw the analogy here. This is insane. Change for installed. the sake of the history change. of yeah. Wi-Fi networks were in range when the app was installed. The history of your Bluetooth beacons placed around the event walked in range of. It can take pictures, photos, which give access to all the photos on your phone, which is great for data harvesting based on metadata from pictures, time, day, location. Full network access permission is listed twice, God, which damn, is odd. This is Additionally, insane. you don't need receive data from the internet when you have full network access. Add it to Blizzard. What's going on here? All the ticket apps you chose. The worst one with the most tracking. What a surprise. Edit 3, Blue Post here says that you can use the solutions desk if something is preventing you from using the app. I suggest using the solutions desk. Edit 4. I did some searching around and found numerous articles about what the app takes and who it sends it to. In short, it's the most, the most thorough write-up I found in 30 minutes of searching. States the app scrapes a ton of data from your phone, including your first and last name, precise location, determined by GPS, Wi-Fi, or other means, how often the app is used, what content is viewed using the apps, which ads are clicked, what purchases are made, oh, my user's man. personal advertising identifier, IP address, operating oh, system, man. device, make model, billing address, credit card number, security code, mailing address, billing, phone number, email, and address. Do not install this app. Wow. That's... Uh... Wow. Ticketing app access scrapes everything it can from uh, get from your... And that's the one they're adding to BlizzCon, right? Like, so Blizzard couldn't... Uh, I'm a weave and I'm proud. Six mouth, thanks a lot, man. I'm sure your dad isn't. Uh, anyway, I, I, I think this is just ridiculous, right? Like, why can't Blizzard just make their own app? Like, if, if they're going to do this kind of crazy, weird bullshit, why don't they just make their own app for this? Like, I, I just... Oh, my God. It's crazy to me that they're even going to do like may, like there's different ways like if they want to integrate people into using their phones and interfacing with Blizzard stuff with their phone, it seems like they could do it in a different way, right? Rather than like paying this application, th this publisher or whatever, that everybody fucking hates. Well, not everybody hates, but a lot of people don't like. And the worst part about it, guys, is that even if we complain, nothing's going to change. Like I want to I want to get that that out of the way right now. Even if people, because BlizzCon tickets are still going to sell out. So the people that are actually making this decision are going to see, okay, we made a change. We got more data and the tickets still sold out. So we still win, right? I, I, I don't know. Phone, seeing your favorite band live will probably cost you more in data than dollars. The other week, I bought tickets from a friend to go see Arctic Monkeys. Wow. I Venmoed her $85. An email containing my tickets arrived a couple minutes later. Just got tickets. Read the subject line, but the body was a bit different. This email does not contain your ticket. Explained. Here's how to accept tickets. Get the access So this app, is the same Create app. an access account, and the tickets are yours. It looks kind of like an authenticator app, only with barcodes rather than strings and numbers. The only way to use a ticket is to pull up an in-app yeah, while really care the about venue, which seems innocuous enough. So, of course, I downloaded it. I was already 85 bucks in the hole. When I wasn't about okay. to throw away over two minutes, it would take to install some stupid app. But I probably should have. Though okay. the app was technically free, I ended up paying with uh, the wealth of personal data it scraped from me and sent to who knows. Well, Stan, where is this? Like, Okay, so this look, is the same stuff. I get stuff. that tickets are faked. Um... And there are tools out there to help that. If yeah. you're Blizzard, why not use your existing Blizzard Authenticator, by the way? Why not tie into that somehow? It seems like maybe that... T maybe they could have the authentication app that they already own authenticate the tickets for their event. Hey, I'm just saying. It seems like that could make sense. Was that as you're still going to go? Well, yeah. I, I mean, like, I probably... Like, if I end up going to BlizzCon... This will not be a reason why I don't go unless they somehow make this information public. Like I, I, I'm yeah, this isn't it's more of like it's like one more thing. You know what I mean? It's just one more fucking thing. Technology would be there. I don't know. I, I'm not well versed in these type of things, but Blizzard already has an authenticator type app. So why not link that in rather than using an additional resource? This is just extremely bad PR. I don't know who picked this. I'm sure it was somebody who didn't understand that 
uh, Blizzard's customers are going to look into, what you're forcing them to install. Uh, I, I don't understand why you can't, I mean, for the amount of money, literally, for the amount of money, let's be let's be real here. For the amount of money you're charging to get into BlizzCon, which is several hundred dollars in some cases, yeah, um, you should be able to include, you know, you should be able to post a ticket with an actual like authenticator chip in it that go on credit cards. Those can't be expensive. Um, you should be able to mail you know, know authenticators to everybody yeah, for an extra I don't know five about bucks. That out of your profit line there's any number of ways that you could actually uh well he said profit line okay here's the thing is blizzard's not going to spend more money like so you can roll out okay so here's basically how you can figure out if a company is going to do something or not if blizzard's going to do something or not so if it's going to cost them money they're not going to do it now if it won't cost them money they probably still won't do it. But if it does, they definitely won't do it at all. No, there's no chance. Use authenticators, free authenticators out there, um, your existing authenticator or actual analog authenticators. You can buy those secure keys for like 10 bucks now. Those authenticator keys. Why couldn't you use something like that uh, to, to sell out your customers is insane. Here's a brief overview of the information that can be collected from the mobile app alone. Okay. Nearly all of which is shared with third parties without being anonymized. Okay, let's, or let's, ag go, let's move sites forward here. And services is so extreme that an adequate quote would probably take up an entire page. Okay. Six months. Access thank shares you the five subs, man. All thank of its you, client you, information you, with a laundry list of advertisers, marketers, and unknown quote clients, third party services, including but not limited to Google. Double click ads, which is a retargeting service. Facebook, basically okay, anyone this else is what, yeah, the company this is what feels I saw. like and deserves this personal information. We okay. reserve the right to share your personal information with our co current or future affiliate. See, that's the fucking bullshit, dude. Right there is like, how many times have you ever fucking gone and like, I, I have a now, I have a rule now where I never give anybody my phone number for anything. Never. Like, if you need my phone number, get the fuck out. Like, I, I don't want to talk to you. Here's what they do. Is they, they say current and future. So, like, if the company gets sold, if anything happens with the company, etc. Then after that, they give your information to some other random company. And then you get, like, five or six calls a day about buying Windows. Like, you don't want Windows. Like, you call them, and they're like, I don't want Windows. They're like, okay, we'll take you off the list. Then another company calls you the next day. They're like, oh, no. No, yeah, w this is another company that wants to sell you Windows. It, it just drove me fucking insane. And, and nowadays, like, I used to give people my phone number if they wanted to, uh, you know, like, if they came by. But what they do now is they just sell your fucking phone number. I never do it anymore. It's the most annoying bullshit. Make a fake one. I might have to. Parent companies says access privacy policy. We may also share your personal information and other information with trusted third I mean, parties, a window, such as our partner sponsors and or affiliates, program. subsidiaries, and other related entities for marketing, advertising, or other commercial purposes. And we may occasionally allow third parties to access certain sites for marketing purposes. Wow. This is oh boy. unbelievable. Uh, I don't know. The worst part about it is it's not unbelievable. Like, this happens constantly nowadays. Like, having any sort of privacy at all, I feel like companies are doing their best to make sure that people don't have any privacy at all. And, uh, you know, they want to know what you're doing. They want to know what you're saying. They want to know everything about you. And... It, it, it's really annoying, okay? I mean, like, for me, at least it is. And I think for everyone else, it pretty much is. So I, I, I don't really see this changing at all. I mean, realistically, I don't see it changing. Check the rating of the app at the Play Store. Can I even do that? Uh, let, let me just, let me finish the Why video. Why Blizzard? I mean, by the way, BlizzCon is until November. So Blizzard needs to change this. We need to let Blizzard know that this is unacceptable. And I know that it's like, okay, well, this only affects people going to BlizzCon. Still, 
many of us are customers of Blizzard, like myself, and like many of the people that view uh, my videos. And this ridic this is ridiculous. Blizzard needs to make this change. Make sure that you share this video so everyone knows what's going on with this app. Like the video and make sure everyone knows. I'm actually going to put a little clip of this at the beginning of the video so people know just how serious this is. And I hope you were informed. I promise to provide you a more lighthearted video a little bit later today. We'll talk to you again real soon. Uh, it, it's just... I, I mean, what, what do you even say, right? Better yet, who are the dumb politicians that decided to make private cell phone numbers public? My phone gets blown up 10 times a day or more from bullshit Indian scams or telemarketers. Now I have to pay for a call filter with Verizon. Well, I know it's ridiculous. I'm a weeb and I'm proud. Yeah, they obviously do need to do a better job with that. And who were the ones that did it? The politicians that made that decision were the same politicians that were the ones that were paid by those companies that made the phone calls. It's actually a really easy question to answer whenever you think about it. No, no worries at all there makes complete sense.